Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com here. Alright, so I have a, there's my phone number and my website. So I have a Tenry 2 Kitty Classic. I'm waiting on some parts. I'm not using that one there. But uh, anyway, so here we have a Kenwood Teal 922A. Um, smoked rotary switch for the output network. It's an aftermarket one. I'll swap that out. Someone grounded the grids. They did a horrendous job. Um, tied them all together, thin, st very thin strap. I mean, not wide at all. No, no width there. Um, strap to the ground. Uh, I'll do the other modifications that I do. He also wants me to change the caps. Someone changed the caps. They don't run his job or use the old uh, resistors. One of them looks damaged. He extended the wires on the the leads on the on the uh, caps with solid copper. Wire. I'm just gonna. I'm changing it. I'm gonna put the hardbox kit in there. So he's ordering a new set of tubes, also. So um, a lot of work. Let me get. I'm gonna get started right now. I'll be back. Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com here. Here's my phone number and my website: two zero three eight nine two four one one nine. So we have the Kenwood Till nine twenty two. Here's the smoked rotary switch. Someone did a horrendous job putting this in. Just horrible. Some wedged in there. Um, anyway, uh, some of the contacts weren't soldered well. Uh, I think the 160 meter patter uh, wire that goes to the caps, the doorknob caps, it, it popped off. You can see it was on 160 when this happened. So, um, replaced that. Bought a new multi tech switch. This was a replacement. Uh, I changed the caps. Also, again, poor solder joints. Someone put these in, lengthened the wires. I mean, just horrendous. So, um, not the owner, someone else. So, I put in the new Harbach kit. B negative, the, the diode on the B negative rail. Um, glitch resistor. Series with the B positive. Put all the other modifications that I do. Uh, already, someone already uh, replaced the meter lamps, so I didn't touch those. So, I'll show you the bottom. Hey, here's the bottom. Grid's grounded properly. Each pin to ground with strap. Long duct in copper strap. Um, here's the new rotary switch. Everything soldered nice, nice. Filter caps all wired up. Check everything else out, it's all good. So when you put these caps in, always make sure you isolate them from ground, pull them back from the back. Um, I always put a dab of silicone around each one at the end to stop them from possibly sliding around. I make sure that they're in there nice and tight. I need to find a screw, and that screw is missing. So this thing's good to go. Feel free to call, text, or email. Here's my website and my phone number. 203-892-4119. I have a whole pile of amps to do. I, I'm uh, getting to them in the order they've been received as fast as I can. I don't cut any corners, so, um, you know, I don't like being rushed, but I get things done quick. So, but at least when it's done, it's done, and uh, you'll get to enjoy it for many years to come. <laughs> Catch y'all later.